let's understand a bit about emoji. Emojis are ideograms used in electronic messages and web pages. These are actual pictures instead of typography. And it exists in several genius such as facial expressions, common objects, places and types of weather and animals. Emojis can be used to communicate in uh, short messages such as you could use the first image shown as question mark and an arm and it means do you even lift this is the message that you can communicate similarly you could see the second message blade runner you can put a blade and a person who's running then you will get the blade runner that's the message that you can pass so similarly you have the over the moon so these are messages that you can communicate and without much further ado i will show how to create this in power bi desktop and let us get started and jump into the power bi desktop i have opened up a power bi desktop and it's blank page and i'm going to show you how to insert emoji into a text box just hit on text box so once you hit you will have the text box appear inside your power bi report and if you want to get the emoji you just press windows and semicolon so once you press you will see all the emojis appear and you can select the particular emojis that you want to show inside the report itself and then if you want to search from different categories it's available here if you want to select from people or if you want to select from transportation and places you can select directly and if you want to search for a particular emoji you can just uh, search for it and then you will have a uh, all the emojis appear inside the report itself so this is the way that you can actually insert emoji inside in a report and using a text box so this is the first method the other method that you can try if you want to add an emoji inside report page is by using dex function imager create a measure and then you can add a data card to display the emoji Let's look at how we can do that in Power BI Desktop. We are back again with Power BI Desktop. Let's create a measure. But since we do not have any table, let us create some table first. One of the methods you could do is use a generate series and create a simple table. So let's click on modeling and hit on new table. And then you can start writing your uh, name for this measure. Let's say Unicha Measure Table. And let's get generate series function. And let's put start value 1, end value 1 and incremental value 1 and just click on commit so once you click on commit you would see that the table is generated if you want to see you can go into the data so you'd see that uh, already you have a column with value 1 so let's go back to the report section again and let us try to create a B and let's try to put a B emoji inside the report canvas. So I'm going to bring in card, data card, and let's create a new measure. Let's create a new measure. So the new measure would be B. And I would put unichar function. And then I need to give a number to appear B inside my report itself. So let's try to give the number 128029. Okay, so this is my number. I just want to commit. So once I commit, I will get this B inside my fields and drag and drop it. Then you would see B appearing inside my canvas report. But you would start wondering how do I get this number 128029 
and I'm going to show you a simple trick that how you can generate a table where you will see the image and the number itself. And I have also created a Power BI desktop file with emoji and uploaded inside the uh, TDG Power Platform Bank. If you like, you can download it or you can simply follow my steps and create your own version. So the next step would be to create a new column. So let's get into the Unicode uh, table and click on new column. Let's see Unichar. Use the Unichar function. And get the value column inside. So the value we need is Unicode value inside and close it and commit. So once you commit, you would see that the column generated. You can go to the data section and see your value and the Unichar is appearing. So you can see it's very easy to do. And if you want to put a slicer here, you can start putting your slicer and drag and drop your value here and add another table here. So that this will be the table and unichar and value and just remove the summarization and then you would have your own table and you can do your adjustment accordingly. This is the Power BI desktop file I have created and here you have a slicer. Once you slide your slicer you can filter to the range that you want and hope this helps you to get the value of the unichar for each image so you have the unichar and the value side by side you can download this power bi desktop file from power platform bank in tdg so go for it how to download power bi and emoji file you can come to dynamics365society.uk website and you can follow this web link and just sign in to your account and then you'll be able to download this file. So this is the question in this episode. If you know the answer to this message, please feel free to put it in the comment section below and we would like to see your answer.